Welcome Nebraskans, and I'm Jean Stothert, I'm a member of Omaha City Council, and welcome to the thank you tour for Nebraska's next United States Senator, Deb Fisher. It is so good to be with you all this afternoon in this beautiful hotel just the kind of hotel that Bob Carey is proud to call home. <laughs> I am so honored to introduce Deb today. <clears throat> Excuse me, on the day before the election, just three days ago, I talked to Deb on the phone. After hanging up, I thought, Bob Carey and the boys aren't gonna know what to do with her. <laughs> and here it was, just the day before the election, and the confidence, the poise, and the sincerity she showed was amazing. She made me even more proud of her and even more proud to be a Nebraskan. <clears throat> Voters in the Republican Party have made their choice clear. Our party promotes competition, and in this primary, we benefited from it. Through competition of ideas and experience and vision, the voters on Tuesday made their choice. Our choice was Deb Fisher, and Nebraska voters in November will make the same choice for Deb Fisher. <laughs> With an appreciation for the leadership and service of John Bruning, Don Stenberg, and the others that ran, our job is now to focus on one common goal, we must provide Senator Johans with a working partner that will further the goals of the United States at home and at abroad. The fact that the ruling majority in the U.S. Senate has not provided a budget, the most basic of responsibilities in over three years is shocking. <laughs> and with our help, Deb will win in November not because of the little things. Well, yes, yeah, she actually lived here for the past 11 years and she actually voted here for the past 11 years, but rather Deb will win for the big things. For years she has done the work necessary to be an effective U.S. Senator. Deb is a lifelong Nebraskan, a loving wife and a wonderful mother of three children. She and her family are ranchers. Never an easy day there. Deb was elected to her local school, school board. No easy days there either. And she served as president of the Nebraska Association of School Boards, later receiving their Lifetime Achievement Award. Deb has served her district and state with distinction in the, in the Nebraska legislature for over eight years. Her work ethic, her negotiation skills, her common sense values and determination have earned her praise from colleagues, constituents, and leaders in our state. Based on her knowledge and work on the issues in this state that really matter, I believe strongly that Deb Fisher is the most qualified candidate for the U.S. Senate, and her experience is recent, it's relevant, and it's real. I don't know what her opponent has been doing in New York City for the past 11 years, but I know what Deb Fisher has been doing in Nebraska for the last 11 years. She's been working, she's been leading, she's been fixing and fighting for us, and let me tell you, she's ready. So ladies and gentlemen, Nebraskans all, please welcome Deb Fisher. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here today. I see so many friends, so many supporters in this room, and I know if I started mentioning you, I would forget someone. So I say thank you to all of you. I am grateful to the voters of Nebraska, to everyone who took a chance on a different type of candidate. Somebody who was from urban Nebraska, but also rural Nebraska. I was born and raised in Lincoln, but I'm a rancher from Valentine. 
We're different in this state, but that's what makes us strong. And yet that difference binds us together. You know, I see people in this room who also took a chance when this candidate wasn't given any chance at all to win. But you know, we did. So. <laughs> And when I look out, I know that none of you, and certainly not me, we're not going to take any more chances because we're going to beat Bob Carey in November. <laughs> Nebraskans are very special people. You know, we work hard, we have solid values, we have strong character. As I traveled over 45,000 miles around the state and got to meet more and more and more Nebraskans, which I'll be doing now for in the next several months too, what I heard from those people that I met with was they were looking for a candidate who's one of us. And that's who I am. I'm one of you. I'm a Nebraskan. I understand the values of this state. I understand the people of this state. And I love the kids of this state. <laughs> I have a whole front row here of fans, and Senator McCoy's got a little one, and Elaine back there has got one. This is great, because the Republican Party, we have those of us who are a little older, we have those of us that are younger, but we are a strong party in this state. We're going to be a strong party nationally. We are going to take back this Senate seat, and it's about time. Amen. Yes. In Nebraska, we, be we believe in public service. And all of you in this room, I know, have volunteered with your church, with your Cub Scout group, with your 4-H clubs, with city council, state senators. That's volunteering. That's public service. We've lost that in Washington. We're tired of career politicians. We're tired of people who think they're entitled to things. That has to stop. So while I travel this state and I hear people talk about their frustrations with Washington, the biggest thing that they're frustrated with, though, is spending. It's that out-of-control spending in Washington. Everything else stems from that. We have to get control of the spending. We have to cut it. We need to balance a budget, and I support a balanced budget amendment. We need to address that over $15 trillion in debt. We have to get government to back away and let small businesses create jobs. We need to let small businesses grow because that's how you turn around an economy. And this administration doesn't have a clue on how to do it. Yeah. But if we're going to allow small businesses to grow, we need to reduce regulations. We need to reduce energy costs. We need to repeal Obamacare. Yes. <laughs> reform the tax code. We need to open up export markets. We need to have free and fair trade. All of those things are going to help small businesses grow. All of those things are going to help small businesses create jobs and turn this economy around. But we also need to reform Washington. We need to get some business done. We've got a, we have a federal government that can't do business. Nebraska can change that. state is important in this election, so I'm going to ask for your help. We have a big tent. We need to win this seat for the Republicans, which means I need to win this election if we're going to change how the Senate does business. So I need your help. I ask for your help. When I started campaigning, and I, of course, when you file to run for an office, you believe you can win. And I filed, and yes, I believed I could win this. I believed I had something to offer. And every time I was out talking to people, I would say, we can do this. We can do this. 
And you know, Nebraska, we can do this. We can change how Washington does business. Here in Nebraska, if we make this change, we can change this country's direction and we can move in a positive direction again and we can see Nebraska values in Washington. We're busy on the campaign trail. I put on over 45,000 miles already. That's uh, without missing a day in the legislature for three and a half months. And, and that's how you campaign in Nebraska. You know, we ran a positive campaign, and I'm really proud of the campaign that we ran. We ran that positive campaign. We were out there listening to people. That's what you do in Nebraska. That's how you run a campaign, and if elected, that's how you serve. I see a number of my colleagues in here, Senator Purse, Senator John Nelson, we have Senator McCoy. I don't know if I miss anyone else. I saw Senator Chris, met him earlier. You are so lucky to be represented by these individuals here. They serve you with integrity. They serve you with honesty. They are hard workers. We need that in Washington. I ask for your vote, I ask for your support. Any help you can give us will be appreciated. This is a tough race. I don't take anything for granted. My colleagues will tell you that. I work hard and I'm gonna take on Bob Carey and we are going to win. Thank you. Thank you.